crazy stuff. I want to keep it as natural as possible. Um, it just enhance the photo, not change the photo, yeah. you know? And some people, you know, they, they'll completely change something, but that's just a style that some people like and want to rock with it. Yo, 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 what's going on, beautiful people? It's you listen to Burton the Third, your favorite photographer's favorite photographer here with another voiceover at this time, man. I wanted to really just discuss the beautiful images that you can create with a one light setup. Very simple, very easy. And um, all you need is a couple tools, man. But before we get into that, man, in front of me, I want to introduce the homie Ronald, man, dope model. I met Ronald. Actually, this was our first official meeting, but I actually photographed Ronald um, because he's a... A participant in um, a lot of the fashion weeks that happen within the Virginia area and ever since I got to Virginia I have gotten to like see him you know walk the runway and also some of the shoots that he's done man so very very dope model um, even being an older gentleman man it just shows you that there's no age to beauty and what you can achieve man so um, but shout out to Ronald man and I appreciate him for stepping in frame uh, to help me you know what I'm saying bring you guys this video so back to that one light setup as you see in the beginning i'm setting up on the uh light stand i think it was a seven inch reflective umbrella and i'm firing a uh 8600 into that umbrella to uh just spread this beautiful beautiful light and um we, we're about 45 degrees off of the subject to uh what would that be camera left yeah camera left um and to the right side of the subject and um the reason why i like this umbrella is because of the size of it it really does spread the light and um they offer a beautiful soft light you put a little diffuser on that umbrella um and at the end of this if you make it to the end of this i appreciate it if you make it to the end of this uh you'll see some of the images that we created with this look very very simple look um and the reason why one light because i think a lot of times people when they get into uh off camera flash or flash photography they overcomplicate things by trying to add a rim light or a hair light or a backlight and then an accent light, a fill light, and so on and so forth. When really we should just be trying to master what we can do with one light. Alright. And also the camera that I'm using is the Canon EOS R. And I believe I got the 24 to 105 F4. Um, and that's another thing too. A lot of times people they be, you know, they want to grab a 518 or a 514 or 85, whatever, whatever right having these these wide open lenses is great i love shooting with prime lenses but a lot of times especially in studio work i'm looking to you know shoot stop down you know between f8 and f11 because i want everything to be sharp and in focus so that's typically what i do um yeah so here i'm showing one of the images man and that's that's the attitude the energy that i want back you know he's happy with what he's seeing and what we're creating so far and, um, you know, that's what we go for, man. You got to show the model what you're working with and what you are capturing because that kind of charges them up. So we ran through three different looks, actually. And I got the pop up backdrop right there, um, which is another great piece of work when doing headshots. If I got to if I got to come to somebody's home instead of setting up the whole studio or backdrop and trying to find a white wall, if they don't have pure white walls, I mean, you can utilize that backdrop. It's got a black side and a white side very very dope and this time with this lighting setup you see i rotated that light on the c-stand all the way to like almost uh like a profile or side lighting the uh side lighting the subject okay but with as big as that umbrella is it's still going to kind of wrap around there's still going to be some 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 shadow on the on the left side of the subject as he's facing me or the right side as we're looking at the video but it's still going to fill in as well just because that lights are wrapping around and that's what i love about it and that's just one light and also i forgot to mention i do have the silver reflector so i can lift the shadows under the chin a little bit um and you know help get those catch lights in the eyes as well um but that's it man you know simple setup in home studio that is the in home studio look and what we are rocking with and uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the, the rest of the video. And like I said, stay tuned, man, because we got we got the images at the end. I'm gonna let the music rock out 
and uh if you make it to the end please please jump in the comments below and let me know what you like didn't like what you want to know um what could i have gone in depth uh in depth more on when it comes down to this photography thing uh because your input is valuable and i need it and i want it because i want to continue to make dope content for you all and as always thank you for rocking with me thank you for checking out the channel if you haven't done so please subscribe like and uh drop a comment man and i will see you guys next time peace